The yoga people say don't exercise, and the exercise people say do yoga for stretching. And you know, I think you have to really find out what you like to do and what inspires you. If you go to a spinning class and you love it, you're going to have a different chemical that releases in your brain. If you go to a spinning class and you say I'm doing this to burn all those calories because I hate myself and ate that whole bag of cupcakes last night, and oh my god, I'm so stressed out, then that's not so good. You can do the same effect, positive or negative, with your brain when you're practicing yoga, which is really interesting. It's not just the activity; it's how you feel. About about it so I really love yoga I love I love doing it I feel all of the crazy chemicals and you know see all of the colors and all of that stuff but I also enjoy anything else and uh, I think if you have a, a state of mind where you're you're practicing something and you're doing it with ease you can enjoy any any athletic endeavor with ease and it shouldn't be so I only do this or I only do that because that's rigid and rigid leads to disease My three favorite foods, ooh, uh, oh gosh, uh, oh my gosh, I like all food. <laughs> um, I love ice cream, so I think a lot of these uh, coconut ice creams now are kind of cool. Um, oh my gosh, I love, I love vegetables. I was like the weird kid who ate spinach all the time because I wanted to be like Popeye. <laughs> So we'd go to like the Bonanza, which is these like in the Midwest, these buffets where you pile up your plate with everything. And I would just stand there and it would actually go around in a circle. That's how bad these buffets were in the Midwest. So you'd wait for your food of choice to come to you. <laughs> so whenever the spinach came around, I would just get, I would just scoop it up and then I would lose it and have to scoop it up again. So I say spinach probably takes up two of my categories and ice cream is the third. <laughs>